Well, today GOP senators spoke out on the challenge to Roe versus Wade. Here's Oklahoma Senator James Lankford. I believe this court will take up the legal argument, will take up the scientific examination, and will relook at Roe v. Wade in a whole new way and will return this country to what it was pre-1973, where each state made their own decisions to be able to protect the lives of every single child. Senator Lankford joins us now tonight to talk more about this. Sir, good to have you on. You know, you know I just I, I suggested just a second ago, but this this polling indicates that most uh, by and large, most Americans don't think that Roe versus Wade should be overturned or at least don't believe that abortion should be abolished in this country, that you should have the right to an abortion. So I'm just curious, what do you think that should look like in this country? I mean, obviously, you think states should determine the law, but but, but where do you stand on abortion, I guess, is my question. Yeah, I'm adamantly opposed to abortion. I think every child is a child, and we should honor the rights of the child to be able to live. From the moment they're a zygote all the way through their own development till the time we can see them in the first and second grade, uh, there's nothing different about a child in the womb and a child outside of the womb other than time. And so I'm a big believer in life begins at conception. I would tell you there's a sure. great misunderstanding when you go back to pre-Roe, what does that really mean? Uh, prior to Roe v. Wade, there was abortion in America. Uh, kicking out this Roe v. Wade decision from the Supreme Court doesn't end abortion in America. It only returns it to the states, and the states have the opportunity to be able to decide. States like my state in Oklahoma uh, will protect life all the way to the moment of conception. New York, California, Illinois will do abortion all the way up until the day before birth. And so it's just a very different perspective on that. But pre-Roe doesn't right. mean abortion ends in America. It just means it goes back to the states to decide. I mean, it, it, it is worth noting. You know, I mean, this, this is one of these conversations. It's really tough for Americans because I, and, and when you look at it, it, the, 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 the thickest part of, of the electorate believes that you should have the right to an abortion up until a certain time. It's just determining what that time is. And like we just pointed out, you go to Europe and you get about three months. You come to the United States, you get more like five. So the, the Republicans have a good argument there for maybe we're a little bit too liberal with this thing. Um, but I just, from a political standpoint, which is what I want to make the point on right now, you had even Democrat Senator uh, Gene Shaheen today of New Hampshire threatening a revolution if the Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade. If we can just talk for a second about the politics of this and the politics of it alone, to me, it does seem like bad politics at a time when Republicans don't have any power and they're on the verge of getting a lot of power back, which is going to happen in the midterms. What's scary is if this gets overturned, you create a rallying cry for Democrats, and all of a sudden the midterms next year look terrible, uh, and it affects everything else in this country politically. I would only say that for those of us that have been standing up for the rights of a child to be able to actually live and to be able to have what our Declaration of Independence uh, requires, and that is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, this has been something we've worked on for 48 years to be able to get to this moment. And I understand the politics and the optics of it, but the most basic perception is this is not a political decision. This is a legal decision. Uh, as you look at what Congress has done in state legislatures, the vast majority of times Congress has actually addressed abortion. They've been limiting abortion. The courts have been the ones that have been expanding abortion across the country. And so at this moment, for the court to be able to re-examine Roe v. Wade and to say, we're not going to have this in the courts anymore, it's going to go out to the state legislatures. And then you're correct, in the middle of election year next year, uh, because the decision would come out in June, uh, right in the heart of our election season next year, yeah. that this would go out across the country for people to be able to make a decision on. Right now, Joe Biden is doing a really great job of helping Republicans get elected uh, based on his bad policies every single day. And right. we're fighting a multi-front war right now, but not only deal with abortion issues tomorrow in the Supreme Court, but we've had victories of mass mandates uh, from courts today right, uh, and right. from vaccine mandates that have been enormous. Understood. We've got all this bill back better bill uh, that we're fighting through. So we're fighting through multiple different issues right now. It's, but the focus is not just the politics, it's the life of the child. Understood. Understood. And there's, boy, there are a lot of opinions on this one. Uh, all the way, uh, for, they run from side to side, all the way down the gamut. That's for sure. Senator Lankford, uh, thanks for giving us your perspective on this. We appreciate your time. Good to see you. You bet. Good to see you again. All right.